Hello, welcome back to my channel. A lot of my intros recently have been me in the car, but this week's vlog is going to be titled, doing all the things I have been putting off. So you know when you have those things that you're just like a constant to-do list and you never get them done and you're like, oh, okay, I just need to get this done. I'm also sweating. It was like 55 degrees earlier and now it's 75 and I'm hot, but doing all the things I have been putting off on the list that I made, Goodwill run, doing that today, car wash, pay my taxes, going through memories, so like my memory box and stuff like that. I already did that, I didn't vlog it, but I did it last week. Got rid of just like old birthday cards and stuff like that. Unsubscribing from emails, refold clothes in closet dresser. I did some of that today, but need to do it more. Organized cabinets, which is at home, and then fridge clean out. And then also in tandem with the Goodwill run, I'm going to Uptown Cheapskate right now to donate a lot of my clothes and see what kind of money they can give me for the clothes that I'm bringing in. A lot of the ones are like jean shorts that don't fit me anymore, t-shirts that I just don't really wear anymore. So we will see, and then some jeans as well. So let's go to Uptown Cheapskate. I can never say it, Uptown Cheapskate. And then I also have one book, the book called Less, that I bought at Half Price Books, but I'm just gonna donate it back because I didn't like it and didn't read it. So let's go do all the things that I have been putting off. Okay, first stop is Uptown Cheapskate because whatever they don't take, I will just take to Goodwill. So I have five bags, some shoes, and the rest are clothes. That took like an hour. I got to Uptown Cheapskate like, 120 it's 217 but they had a lot of bags in front of me it takes them a while obviously to like go through people's stuff but they took 10 items and i got 54 dollars they either say you can have 67 dollars in store credit or 54 dollars in cash i've never bought anything from there so i don't really want the store credit so i just took the cash i'm now going to go to half price books and just return the book that i was saying that i didn't really like they might not offer me anything they probably will offer like a dollar but whatever I just want to get it off my hands because I didn't really like it and didn't finish it and I also oh my gosh I just honked my horn sorry uh, but something I haven't done is my old espresso pods that I've had for a while need to be recycled um, I don't know if people know this but you can just like drop them off at a UPS which is right here so I'm gonna do that since I've been wanting to do that for a while. And then after I go to Half Price Books, I'm gonna go to the gym, which isn't a part of this vlog, so I'm not filming that, but just to keep you up to date with what's going on. It is Sunday and it's also Easter, so the UPS store is closed. Half Price Books hopefully will be open, so I'm gonna go there now and hopefully get $1 or so for my book. Return my book, or get, donated my book. She goes, I can offer you a dollar. <laughs> exactly what I thought thank you so got $55 today just for doing things that I've been putting off I just hit myself in the face which is pretty good and now I'm gonna go to the gym but I am gonna check my to-do list see what else I need to do I still have to drop off the extra bags at Goodwill so they took 10 items I then sorted it to be like okay what do I actually want to keep because I did put some in Goodwill bags today that I was like eh I'd be fine if they didn't take these, but I also don't want them to go to Goodwill, if that makes sense. Like, if I got money for them, it'd be fine. I don't wear them that, that much, but I'll just keep them otherwise for now. I have to go to Goodwill. I have a lot of other things I need to do, but a lot of them are when I get home. Paying my taxes, my like, accountant sent my taxes to my old apartment address, so I have to go pick that up. So I'm going to do that after the gym pay my taxes and do all of that since I owe a decent bit of money. And yeah, that's what we're doing. It is the next day, happy Monday. I forgot to drop off the bags at Goodwill yesterday and do all of that and get that out of my car. So I need to do that. Clean my car out today, drop off those Nespresso, whoa. Drop off the Nespresso pods because UPS is now open. So I'm gonna do that kind of stuff today. And then, I did reorganize the pantry, I just didn't film it, but I'm gonna show you all what I did. And there's still some stuff I wanna do, and I feel like in our kitchen there's spaces that are just kind of like a waste of space of what like I've put there and stuff, so I wanna post about it and see if I can get any insight. Usually I'm pretty good at organizing, but I don't wanna just keep buying like 
organizers to organize, you know? That feels like a waste. So I'll film that later and I'm going to my personal training session now, but after on my way home, there's a Goodwill bin, like a Goodwill box on the side of the road. So I'm gonna drop off there and then see if I can also make a quick stop at UPS, depending on timing for work. So let's do that today. I didn't film it. I ended up going to Goodwill, so I went on a walk with my friend Megan and, sorry, I'm like shaking the camera. And I was like, there's a Goodwill literally on my way home. I'm just gonna stop. I had three bags in the back. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna stop and drop it off. It'll be quick. The man working there was like so nice and he ended up talking to me for, sorry, I need to like stabilize my camera. He was so nice, but he ended up talking to me for like literally 10 minutes about the fact that he is like the only employee that works after 6 p.m. and how there used to be four of them and now there's just him and like not to bring donations this late, but he was like super nice about it, still took the donations, but literally talked to my ear off for 10 minutes. And I was just like, dude, you're a nice guy, but like I gotta get moving, like I gotta get home. I'm on call tonight, I'm starving, but he was really sweet, so I did that. So let's go back to the to-do list. See what I still have to get done. Okay, oh, and I paid my taxes. I obviously didn't vlog that. I'm not gonna post about like what I owed and everything, but I owed a decent bit. So that was fun, but I budgeted for it in my, you need a budget. I did my Goodwill run, so I checked that off. Unsubscribing from emails. I actually think I'm gonna work on that tonight a little bit on my personal computer. And then I'll show you like my closet dresser and kind of what I'm working with. I did refold most of it. Uh, Fridge clean out, we haven't done, so I could do that tonight, but. But here's the list of everything I need to get done. And I'm sure I'll think of some and add more, but let's keep going with doing the things that I haven't been able to get done because I just haven't done them. That's honestly it. It's not like they take that much time. You just, things get, life gets in the way and you like don't do it. And then it's those things that just like bother you constantly in your ear, in your head, not your ear, in your head. And then you finally do them and you're like, oh, that was easy. Like that was so easy to drop off at Goodwill besides that he talked to me for a while. But check that off and we did it. Our fridge is honestly not that bad. It's pretty organized, but I just feel like I need to see things better. And I honestly, we haven't like wiped down our fridge. Maybe Billy has, but I haven't since we moved here. And we're not utilizing these like bottom storage. Like this is kind of a shelf. I don't really know what you would put there, but I feel like we could utilize it more maybe for like the butter or cream cheese or something like that. So I do want to organize it a bit and just see like if there's anything we can get rid of or anything we can put in a space that like I'll prioritize. I have that rotisserie chicken I want to cut up but also it kind of skews me out so I'm going to have Billy do that. But I think I'll go through the fridge tonight and just make sure things are good and organized. I want to be one of those people that have like really organized fridge fridges, refrigerators. These are the two things we have for our drinks. And like, I love this, but then also it's like, I don't, like I said before, I don't want to like buy all these bins. I'll show you our cabinets right now, just so you can see. But these are our cabinets. We didn't have this, these two like little bins before I got them at Target. We didn't have those. We didn't have this or this one. So I put in here all of like, whoa, all of our coffee, coffee filters, coconut oil, extra peanut butter. Down here is like all of our oils and extra spices because I get our spices at Costco since they're way cheaper. And here is more just like flax seeds, granola, jelly, that kind of stuff. And then this shelf is stuff we use like mostly every day. So it's like pasta, farro, rice. Well, actually our rice is up here. But like taco stuff, protein bars, cereal, pancake mix, stuff like that. This shelf I use for like more of like our health food stuff and our olive oil. So it's like my protein powder, chia seeds, overnight oat stuff, collagen, peanut butter I'm currently using, honey for tea, liquid IV. Well, we actually use Cure because we can use our HSA for it. And like extract, stuff like that. And then up here is like more of our baking goods. So this is like pancake, Oh my gosh, I almost said batter. Pancake mix, yeah, pancake mix. Rice, I need to get more of. Quinoa, flaxseed for smoothies. And then just like other baking stuff, which is up there. So I do kind of want to get an organizer for here just because I feel like it, honestly, like it's the smallest change, but it just looks so much better when they're like in a thing. I don't know why, but it just like looks better. So 
I might get some organizers for here from Amazon. I think I might do that. And then that way I can organize this since I use this all the time. So to like pull back and it get, just gets kind of annoying. But let's make dinner. I obviously have to put dishes away, clean dishes. That's not part of what I need to get done because that's always something that is there. But let's make dinner and then I'll go and organize the fridge. Hello, I'm back. It's Wednesday. I was not in the mood to record the rest of the video yesterday when I was going to do like the fridge clean out and drawers and organize and everything like that. But today I am. So let's start fresh with that. We're going to do some kitchen refresh. What? Why is my phone ringing? Oh, my mom. Hi, mama. I was just calling to say happy anniversary. Quick intermission, had to talk with my mom. But this is our kitchen layout. I don't know if I've shown it, probably like very briefly in videos. So we have an island here, we have two chairs, we had three, the third, we have four actually, but they obviously all didn't fit there. The third and fourth are in our garage. And then our fridge is right here, our freezer's below. And then like I showed before, this is like our main kind of snack coffee pantry that we access a lot so i want this to be organized and then this other cabinet we access the most and same thing i just like literally can never i always have to just like be reaching over things to get things and the things i use the most aren't in the right place and then up here is more like baked goods i honestly want to get like another see if they have an extra slab of this and make like another shelf even though i wouldn't be able to reach it but i just feel like it's kind of a waste of space and then this area here, like this shelf drives me nuts. It's really just like to-go cups and tea. But every time I make tea, this is so lame, but I have to like bring it down here, open it, you know? So I wanted to get some stuff for that. So I got some new tea, some new organizers, which I'll show. And then this, I don't mind that much, but I also could move this below the sink. So we just have like some storage space that isn't being used properly. And then, like I said, my to-go mugs could easily just go up here with the other ones. So at Target, I got this Bright Room, which is the ones I already have, fridge and pantry bins. It's just a set of four. So it's two of these ones, two of these, and then four things of tea. So I'm going to unpack that now and decide what goes where. I don't really think I'm going to use any of these in the fridge because the ones we have in the fridge, like I showed before, are just like the cans. And I just don't really see a need for any other like fridge organization. There's nothing we have a lot of, like eggs we have, the yogurts I have, but the, like it all just like stands on its own in my opinion. So I just don't really see the need for another thing in the fridge. But I really wanna work on this space, like I said, and might move some of like my collagen and protein powder in here. So when I'm making smoothies, it's just like easy to access. And then tea, I might put in like a little thing in here just with the honey. So let's get started and see what we get done. And while I'm doing this, quick shout out to some faves. I'm drinking Culture Pop, which is my favorite prebiotic, sorry, probiotic soda. Listening to Gals on the Go most recent episode about goals and they're just doing their catch up now. That's Danielle and Brooke, Danielle, Carolyn and Brooke Michio. And gonna unpack these to get started. I guess it's rising earlier now again. Yeah. Is, like that's helpful to me. Um, just feeling more motivated in the morning. Uh, it's just energizing and just like yeah. feeling. Already major improvements. Like look at this. It just makes sense. So all my powders are on the left. I know what is what. All right there. Honey's right here. More honey's here. All the tea in here. I kind of wish this was like not as deep, but you got what you got. Extra tea here olive oil back there so I can see it, some other supplements that are billies, and then hydration tablets there, and nut butters in the back. And then I moved the vanilla extract, almond extract up there. I still need to organize that one, but this one is good for now. And then in here, I just put in my collagen, protein powder, oats, and vanilla collagen peptides. So now I have to find a place for these, which is obviously where the other water bottle water bottles are but I already like it so far and it feels just better the space I feel really good about these sections too so I swapped out a bigger one that I got for this because the other one was just too small so this is like rice pasta some snacks I bring to work bagels I can't think of the word buns tortillas and then in the back I have like cereal pancake mix other pasta and black beans so now stepping on the big chair Let's go up to here. 
like I got like curtain pull back. You know, you just like little things. You're like, okay, I'll hang this up. I'll do this. Look at her. She looks so much better. Like this. It just is a game changer when things aren't just like all over the place. And then these are stockable, so I just put like our quinoa flax seeds and rice, which I need to refill on top. So it looks really good. I'm super happy with that. I have two left over that don't go into a pantry category. And there's not really another place that I could like organize, I feel like. This is the problem though. They're not gonna fit properly. Like this doesn't work, you know? Maybe we put them, ooh. Maybe they go this way, okay, um, maybe. I don't know, it just doesn't, it looks weird to me, but we'll see. It feels like counterproductive, you know, I could just like put these in the fridge sitting straight up because now I have these, it's like, okay, what do we do with that? Okay, so maybe not the yogurts, but I wanted to unpack them anyways, so. Okay, I feel like we have a decent amount of like salsas and stuff that we keep in the side that I could put in there, like Dijon, salsa, these other salsas that we don't like use that frequently so they could kind of take a back seat, you know? While we're here, I am gonna consolidate these Franks because you don't need two bottles, you know? It's like silly. So let's consolidate these. And that's why this video is literally titled Things I've Been Putting Off because like I've probably seen these in the fridge so many times. Ah! Okay, classic. I almost decided to clean that off with my mouth and that would have been a disaster. But you know, you think about doing these things over and over again and then you don't do them and then you're like, why? It takes like five seconds to do all of this. Okay, the sauces we use most often are gonna go on the right hand side and then I'm gonna honestly just put like all the hot sauces here because I never use hot sauce. I don't really use hot sauce at all. So I'll put the Franks in there some sriracha. The fridge looks so good, I can't get over it. I do have to also go take our milk bottles and return them for deposit and get new milk. So I'm gonna go do that because I also have something to pick up. But I basically just did like milk, creamer, maple syrup here, sauces we use all the time. Up here, cream cheese, butter, and jam. In here, fruit at the top, I like to be able to see it so it doesn't go bad. Cold brew, eggs. This is just kind of like breakfast stuff, like grab and go. Same thing here with our seltzers, our salsas and mustard and stuff is in here. Rotisserie chicken back there that I need to cut. My overnight oats for work tomorrow. And then like leftovers will always be on the right side just so that we know what we have in the fridge. It doesn't get shoved to the back. And here are vegetables, so mushrooms, onion. This is like our little onion saver from Amazon that we love. Tomato. On the right hand side, we have our veggies, so spinach. Uh, parsley in here, avocado in our avocado saver, cabbage, and broccoli slaw. I always like to just check to make sure things aren't going bad either. And then in here we have like cheese, turkey breast, shredded cheese, extra butter, pepper jack cheese, more shredded cheese because we go to Costco. These limes can probably be thrown out, so I'll do that. And then the last thing I have to do that I haven't done is cut my peppers and slice them because I have been putting this off since I bought them last week. So I'm gonna do that and then run a quick errand and get that done as well. Almost running out of daylight actually. So I'm gonna run my errand now, cut my peppers when I get home because that's something that's really easy. I can just do that when I get home. I poured myself a glass of non-alcoholic wine. So if you drink or don't drink, a fun beverage is always good. Still have my culture pop. I'll take this with me to run my errand. But I am gonna go get milk. Gonna take Hobie out and then we'll keep getting stuff done that I have been putting off. I wanted to go back to the list to see what we still needed to get done. So fridge clean out I did, organized cabinets I did. Car wash I still need to do, going through memories I did, but I also want to go through that again. Unsubscribing from emails I need to finish and then refold clothes and closet drawer. I did that but I also have some things that I didn't take to Goodwill that I need to do. So. We have done five things and we have four more to do for the vlog. It is Wednesday, we have two more days to film, so we'll get it all done, but I'm gonna stop filming for tonight because I feel like I did a lot. That is it for tonight, but I'll see you tomorrow for the rest. Hello, happy Friday. We are back to doing things that I have been putting off. It was actually interesting. I put a question box on my story that was like, what are things you have been putting off? 
and we all kind of struggle with similar things so i'm gonna read through them and the most popular answers well i'll just read through all of them folding slash putting away laundry me always paying off a credit card taxes just did mine but those are something i feel like a lot of people put off as well dishes cleaning up cardboard recycling washing windows oh the cardboard recycling when you have to like break down the box so difficult not that hard but feels difficult updating my car registration i actually also have to do that prepping lunch for work tomorrow maintenance order for my apartment booking a doctor's appointment cleaning out my car from winter practically live in that thing so there's a lot of things that we all put off that really just take like a few minutes to do but it's something that just like sits in our brain in the background it's a to-do list and almost like distracts us from other things that we have to get done so i wanted to look at the list still that i have to do today Pick up Abercrombie order, that wasn't on the list before, but it's been delivered for like three days now and I haven't picked it up, so we're gonna find time to do that today. Refold clothes and closet dresser. I did that, like I said, but I just wanna like take a look at it and see if I can fold it a little bit better. Unsubscribing from emails. I do that normally like throughout the weekend, I feel like if I get a bunch of emails, I'll go ahead and like click unsubscribe, but I haven't done it in a while, so I'm gonna take a look at that today going through memories, my memory box, and then car wash. I would say my main priority for today is car wash. My car is like so dirty on the outside. I haven't gotten a car wash since we went to Florida and drove to Florida. So there's like bugs and dirt and stuff all over my car. So that's my main priority today and picking out my Abercrombie order. If I don't get the other stuff done, that's fine. I know like I'll do it and I know it's like not that big of a deal, but that is on the docket for today. It's Friday and let's do things that we've been putting off. While I'm sitting here at my desk, I'm gonna start to unsubscribe from emails. So I always do it on my computer because I just feel like it's easier. And like, see, you don't even have to pull up a new tab or anything like you do on your phone. And like, there's just certain emails I don't want anymore. Like, I just, I don't care about any of these, you know? And I'll like re-sign up when I want to, but it's just like unsubscribe. And then you don't get all this spam. Like, I feel like so many people's promotion tabs is just, like, crazy. And you know what? We're just unsubscribing. So clean it out. Clean out your email. We're off to go get the car washed. I am very excited. Also, I just, like, love my little sweat shirt fit. Sweatshirt. Sweat set fit. Little monochromatic kind of action. Just little neutrals. My hair is wet so I might be cold outside. Bringing my book because the car wash place always takes like 45 minutes. But my next meeting isn't for an hour so I figured I could bang this out. And in case I'm there long, I'm just gonna bring my headphones. But let's go get stuff done, woo! And speaking of something I've been putting off, these are the clothes that Goodwill or the Uptown Cheapskate didn't take. So I, and the ones I didn't wanna take to Goodwill. So I'm gonna move these into the garage for now. Just finished up at the mall. I actually ended up just returning the pants I got from Abercrombie. I ordered them for Taylor Swift and they were just like a little bit too tight. They didn't fit the same as my other pants that I have from there, which I thought they were the same style, but I guess they're not. So I returned those. I popped into Forever 21 for like a hot sec, but got overwhelmed, even though this one was actually pretty organized. And I'm gonna check off, pick up my Abercrombie order off my to-do list now. So let's do that car wash also unsubscribe from emails and the last thing we have to do is refold clothes and closet refold clothes and closet dresser and go through memories Woo! almost done speaking of things i've been putting off my laundry is overflowing so we're gonna do that in thing i really want to work on is the closet and living with a boy you know you just can't you just can't control it like that's not not my problem not my problem billy is very neat but sometimes the clothes you know all right so this is my little dresser in the closet as you all have seen if you've watched my vlogs i went ahead and organized my jeans donated a bunch still have a ton so like this is kind of like usually i do like light wash darker wash but it's kind of mixed right now Black jeans, black pants, sweatpants, more sweatpants, and then sweatshirts. Could definitely get rid of some of those sweatshirts. I don't know why I don't really wear sweatshirts that much because I live in Austin. And then these are just like also more sweatshirts. I hang a lot of my sweatshirts, so maybe I'll 
start to hang some of those folded ones up there. And I usually try and do like finger spacing with my hangers, but it just doesn't stay. So my biggest problem right here is that, do you see how the arm sleeves like hang low? And then this is the drawer that I access the most. Oh, I totally just like messed that up. Because in here, it's like all just like basic t-shirts that I wear. And then when I close it, the like sleeves get caught. So that is really annoying me. And I think what I'm gonna do is change this drawer with like my PJs that I don't go in that much to the top drawer and then move these t-shirts and like bodysuits and stuff to the bottom drawer. See, it's like overflowing. So let's work on that. And this is kind of like my last step of decluttering besides going through my memories and spring cleaning. As I'm sitting on my closet floor, I realized I forgot those bags of clothes that are in the garage. So I'm gonna go get those so that I can be like fully done with this video, fully done with all the things I put off. I know more things will keep adding up, but I'm gonna throw the laundry in on the way out actually. And that'll be one extra thing that I got done. Here are the two bags that I got from the garage. It's literally just like random shorts that I was gonna get rid of that I just like don't really care about anymore. A sweater, some shoes, and let's put that away. And then we're almost done. This is the memories box that I'm talking about. It just goes like directly under my nightstand. It has like extra chargers in there, outlets for when I travel to Europe, camera like that I really don't use that much, journal, thank you notes, f extra phone cases. And then I had like all my birthday cards from my friends. I kept a few um, and then kept these Polaroids as well. But just, I don't, didn't feel like I needed them. I was just like in a cleansing mood after I watched the minimalist documentary on Netflix. So this feels pretty organized and clean to me. So I feel like I'm done. We're done. Thank you so much for watching this video. That will conclude the spring cleaning, doing things I have been putting off. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Hobie is having a nutty right now. Hobie, what are you doing? And I will see you in the next one. Thank you again for watching, bye.